everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Leandro here. He is the fourth release in the Briar Web Special Big Cat series. So they have done three models already. Their first model was Kimbia, then their second model was Cashmere, and their third model was Padma, and then now here is their fourth model, Leandro. I do have, well, I have two of the other Web Specials in the custom that looks like Cashmere. But uh, all those are currently packed away at the moment, so I can't like pull them out to have like all four of them laid out so you can get an idea of what all four of the special web specials of this series look like together. But we, the first web special was a cheetah, the second one was a snow leopard, the third one was a tiger, and then this guy, Leandro, is supposed to be a lion which we can kind of see by his coloring here. He's got this pretty tan color and then he's got this really dark, dark brown on his shoulders and like up on his neck to resemble the mane of a lion, which is really cool. So we're gonna go ahead and take a closer look at this model. I know he's turned sideways. He is technically supposed to stand like this though that he's rearing because this is the silver mold that he is on. But let's get a closer look at his kind of coloring and details and all these things going on. We can probably first get a look at his face because I think his face is really cool. I love that he has this really neat cat looking eye. That's what they've done I think with all their web specials pretty much. They give them, I mean they're big cat web specials, they've given them these really cool uh, cat like eyes where they put a lot of black around them so they don't look like just horses. They look like cats and they have like little cat like pupil right there in the middle really cool and as you can see they're kind of an orangey orangey colored eyes which look really cool in my opinion I really like it like how they do that and then look at the muzzle is really cute his muzzle has been painted all black over so it's like a cat nose and then his mouth has also been painted with a black so it's like a black line to show his mouth there to look more like a cat you can see he's got that like kind of a cat nose going on um, I do kind of wish they would have put a little bit more detail into this model, especially considering how much I paid for it. This is actually technically the, mo the model I've spent the most money on, technically, but uh, just by a little bit. But he, um, he does have a few things that I think would have made him better, so I am a little disappointed that Briar didn't put a little bit more detail into this model. I will admit that he's not necessarily my favorite of the web specials. I'd say Kimbia is probably my favorite of the three, which Kimbia was the first release. I really like that model. And then Padma, maybe my second favorite, I'm not sure. But this guy is definitely not my favorite of the web series, just because he doesn't have quite as much detail going on on him. But regardless, he is still a really, really cool looking model. We can also get a look here at the interesting shading on his face. He actually has like look, looks more white around his muzzle and his eyes. And we have darker, like, tan shading going on on his face right there, on his neck, which I think looks really cool. His ears actually have black painted on, like, the middle of them, which I think is really interesting. Really interesting look. I really like that. Really cool. And then on his mane, we can see it's got kind of the shading. It's got this kind of tan shading that goes down into this really dark brown, which is going into the mane. And on his shoulder here is where all the dark part is mostly, although this is also in his belly. We'll get into that in a minute. So he's got, uh, and it's not just flat dark shading, they actually have some like other colors going on here. There's like some highlights on his shoulders here, as you can see, highlights and then it's got the darker shading so it's kind of like they painted it sort of like a normal briar but just the colors are weird I don't know how to explain that but it's like they didn't just spray it like a flat dark brown they did give it shading on the muscles and stuff which looks pretty cool and then down onto his chest is all dark not a whole lot of shading going on there but like on his shoulders there's still shading and then his belly is also that dark, dark brown. It's the same dark brown, which is kind of interesting. I don't know why they made the entire belly this dark brown. I can understand if they did it like a triangle kind of look, like right there, if they made that part dark brown. 
because I believe that's how lion's manes kind of go down their bellies. They go down like that. So I don't know why they decided to make the whole belly dark brown, but it's all right. It's pretty, it's an interesting look, I think, and it does give him some more like definition and color or something. I don't know. He's, he's still very cool. Down onto his legs. One thing that I really like about his legs is that they actually gave him these little spots. These little airbrush spots on his legs. And I think that, yeah, they're on both sides. Both sides of his legs got those airbrush spots. And on his back legs, legs too. Those airbrush spots. And, uh, which is pretty cool because, like, baby lions, they have those kind of spots on them when they're born. So I think that's the kind of look they were going for. Which I actually really like. I think that's really interesting to do and it gives it a little bit more detail and stuff. So he's got this lighter tan on his legs that matches the rest of his body and his face. And then his hooves are actually like a white, which is really interesting. And this would have worked more if they would have given him paw pads, but they didn't on Padma. They did give him paw pads. They might have given Kimbi a paw pads. I don't remember. But they should have given this guy paw pads, like uh, like Padma for sure. Especially since his color is uh, more simple compared to Padma who had all the crazy black stripes going on that had a lot of masking and stuff. But they did not give him paw pads. That is one of the things that I'm just probably the most disappointed in this model. That they didn't uh, give him paw pads. That kind of sucks that they didn't do that. Especially since these two hooves... Since he's rearing, he would more than likely see paw pads on this model more than she would on, like, Padma, for example. So it really doesn't really make any sense that they didn't put paw pads on this model. And especially since they even made the hooves white, so the paw pads would have really stood out and that would have looked really cool. But instead they just have, like, these uh, little black stripes to kind of resemble the look of paws, but they didn't actually give him the paw pads. I am almost half tempted to paint paw pads on his hooves because it looks so not right, but I won't since he is a OF and expensive model. But So that is the one thing I really wish they would have done differently with this model, is that they would have given him paw pads because he really deserves it. He, he definitely deserves it. Considering how simple the rest of his coloring is, he doesn't have all the masking like Padma or Kimbia or even Cashmere have. So. They should have given, given him paw pads, like, I don't know what, why they didn't. They should have, though. Alright, and we'll go back into uh, the rest of his body color here. He does, uh, like, up close, you can't see it as well, but far away you can kind of see he's got some kind of striping going on, which is really interesting. He's got a stripe right here, and then he has stripes going across his back and his haunches, which is very interesting. It's not very dark, though. It's very subtle. You can see it better, like, looking kind of far away. And then if you look up close, you can kind of still see them, but you have to, like, kind of look for them more. So I think that's really interesting. I don't know why they did that. I guess just to give him a little bit more uh, of an interesting look because he is a little bit uh, plain otherwise. But, I mean, I don't hate that. I think this is really interesting that they did that. But just mad they didn't do pop ads. <laughs> Now for the rest of his body, we got this really nice tan color again. We can see he's got like some shading going on on his muscles a little bit. On this side, he's got like a highlight right there on his flank where it's like lighter than the rest of his body. And again, just nice tan color. He's got those spots on his back legs again, which I really like. I do like the spots a lot. And then down, it fades into this white. Then we have those little black lines to symbolize the paw pads again, but yet again, no paw pads. <laughs> and I just symbolize the paws, but again, no paw pads. And then on his tail, it's kind of got this like darker tannish color that kind of fades into this lighter tan. And at the very bottom, for some reason, it's like really dark brown, which is interesting. I don't really know why they chose to do this kind of format with the tail. I don't know, it seems like they would have done it like all dark, maybe, but I don't know. It still looks good though. So that is basically him. You can get a look at him there. Very, very cool. And he is very lioness, li lion-esque, I mean. 
So that's pretty cool. And there is also a stable mate that Briar did a long, a long, a long, blah, 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 a long time ago, which I think is Hear Me Roar, that little stable mate that basically looks like Leandro, but in a stable mate form. I wish I had that stable mate now because that would be cool to have those two for comparison as well. So there you go. There is Leandro. So overall, I like him. I spent a lot of money on him. And I don't like him quite as much maybe as some of the other ones. Just because they didn't give him a little bit more detail that he needed. Such as the paw pads. If they would have given him paw pads, I would have been uh, more impressed with this model. If they maybe would have um, given him more detail like on his muzzle too. I would have liked him a lot more. I still like him though. His coloring is so weird and cool that it just looks neat on a briar like this. I have heard other people say that they wish they would they uh, that they would have done a lion look instead on a model that has more hair, which I have to kind of agree with. I don't know why they chose silver to be the lion version for the cat series, considering lions. I don't ever really think of lions as being the cats that would <laughs> be rearing up or doing something like. Leandro is here, but I don't know. I, it's interesting choice of the mold. Not bad though, because obviously this is an awesome mold, but just again, interesting. I would have thought that they would do like a, maybe more of a jungle cat on this mold instead of a lion. But I, anyway, I like him and I have three of the four big cat web specials, which is really cool. So now I just need to get the original cashmere. And I will have all of them, and I can't wait to see what they're going to do next year, assuming that they're going to be doing the Big Cat series again next year. And I hope they do, because I really like these models. Even though they're not realistic in the sense of horses, they are very unique in my opinion, and I just really like them. Alright guys, that is all for this video then. I hope you enjoyed. And I, whatever I normally say now, I'm sorry, I'm all over the place. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed, uh, I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I'll see you in the next video!